Now for a cowboy hat, I've got four dark brown 260s all with about an inch to an inch and a half uninflated on the end of them. We're going to set two aside. And start with two. Well, what you want to do with your first one is you're going to measure halfway around the person's head. So if you put this in the middle of the forehead, you go around to the back of the head and give it just a little bit of extra. It seems like their head always grows after you measure it. I don't know what's up with that. And then put a pinch twist there. And then take your second one and you want another bubble the exact same length. And another pinch twist. And then we're going to take the nozzle of one, lock it into the pinch twist of the other, and then repeat that with the second one. Take the nozzle, lock it into the pinch twist of the other one. Now we're going to come down about four or five inches. We're going to put a pinch twist. And then we're going to repeat that on the other side. And then we're going to come out. We need more bubbles, same size as these over here. So you cross one over, lock it into pinch twist. Cross the other over, lock it into pinch twist on the other side. And this is the basic brim of your hat. Come back here. Tuck those two pinch twists underneath. And you want these end pieces sticking straight out like that because we're going to attach our brim to it in a minute. Come out about two or three inches according to whatever you've got on there. And put a pair of pinch twists in that. And just end of that one. So hang on to them. This has a tendency because you're at the very end of the balloon to want to get soft. So you may have to try to squeeze it to put some back pressure to make it tight. So your pinch twist will stay. Otherwise, they're not going to want to stay very well. Any excess that you have, we're going to pop off in a minute, but I'm going to leave it for now until we get the brim attached but, so it doesn't come undone. Go to the other side. Repeat that same process, putting two pinch twists in there. And again, I'm going to leave that for the moment. Now we're going to take our other two 260s, and I'm going to tie them together. I'm going to take the nozzle end of one and tie it to the nipple end of the other, just like that. And then go to the other end, do the same thing. And as you can tell, this is going to give this hat a very large, oversized brim. Let me trim those excess nozzle pieces off there. So you should have a really big loop. There's the middle and the ends. All right, now we're gonna take, or we've tied one of those ends together and twist it into the two pinch twists on the end. Lock it in place really good. And then you're gonna take your other midsection, go to the other pinch twist on the other side of the hat, and do the same thing to lock those in. And then position one pinch twist on the bottom, one pinch twist on the top, I don't know how you're going to see this, it's not going to fit on this very well. That, you force that out, and then you just take your sides and give it a little bit of shape here. And there, you've got a super jumbo size cowboy hat.